We making moves. There's a there's a mislabeled cafe on Google Maps nearby. Like, <laughs> basically, it's just like a viewpoint, and someone labeled it as a cafe, and me and David both thought it was like a cafe in walking distance. I can't believe people would lie on the internet. That's so fucked up. Yeah, this might be the nicest place I've ever stayed in in my life. Probably before that, it was that time I was traveling in India with Sophia, and she got upgraded or whatever because she has hotel points or something like that. I, I guess like I don't know. It's crazy. I forgot to take uh, the views. Big boy getting the keys. Just drove to this Kari Four supermarket. It was a long ordeal, dude. There's like oh a confusing. You know, it's another one, right? Dude. And well, the story I was about to tell was that uh, we had to take a little bit of a roundabout route because there's just like these really confusing roads that are like half two way, half one way, and bad shit went down. Like uh, what almost just happened there. But I think. Uh, David is God driver driving a manual. He's been explaining to me how to drive a manual, which I don't know because I'm, I'm an American. God bless America. Yogurt, yogurt, yogurt. Interestingly, they do not sell non-fruit Faye yogurt. Guess they're not a fan over here. Oh, wow, meat here is so much cheaper. Two dollars. Two USD for all these crazy cuts. Probably about half the price of the USA. Insane. Hella cheeses. How are you feeling, bro, about this supermarket? Dude, I'm in another dimension right now. The Italian dimension. Cheese. There's a scene in Borat that, uh, deleted scene in Borat that goes like that. Uh, this is $20. It doesn't even sell beer. Wait, I think that's beer. I was gonna say it's very Italian to have wine only. These slippers are supposedly one euro. This is our haul for five days. This is our receipt. About $110 for all this food. Just at a cafe, chilling. Cappuccino, sandwich. Mm. Haribo is king in Europe. What up, bro? Bad shit. Car behind us just like, now you guys see there's like a dumpster there. Basically he had a big bag of trash and reached out. Slow down and fucking drive by that trash. That's how they do here. Uh, sorry, my mouth is full. We're just eating shit we got from the grocery store basically. <laughs> it was like almost 1 p.m. Because David didn't really eat lunch. I had that sandwich over there. Two grades of prosciutto. Really hard to talk. <laughs> Still chewing this shit, but David and I have been talking a lot about subtleties, the ability to, you know, like, I don't know how to describe it, like, appreciate details. Like, for example, people who appreciate really fancy food versus those who can't. I'm in the latter category. Basically, the idea here is with two different grades of meat, we can kind of, like, taste test and tell the difference. And David, meat in his mouth all day, dude. That's just how he does. Meat, meat. About to go practice on this uh, rooftop thing. I don't think I showed. Oh, here's the daytime view. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And there's like a solarium or something for which I will do the break dance. Whoa. David's creation, my dishes. David Cook, you're gonna chill, I'm gonna stretch. Just finished practicing up there, but it got dark. David chilling over there. Chill. Bad boy flexing on me. Oh, <laughs> oh shit, I'm <laughs> <laughs> You good? Yeah, I'm good. good. Alright. Trying to show David these, uh, what I'm trying to learn, these tuck planches. I've used up all my strength, bro. Yeah, but he's actually hella buff. Don't film me, it's embarrassing. Oh, yo! Oh, I'm dying, bro. <laughs> That's a buff oh, boy. Shit. Are you sharing this shit? The moon is blood red, according to David. I don't know, because I'm colorblind. David is taking a picture. We had El Vino and watermelon. We have to take a piss tonight. 